What is up, guys? It is Luke McGuire here. Hello, hello. We are on. We are live. Let me know if you can hear me okay, see me okay. I am so excited for today's webinar. It is just silly. What is up, everyone? Good to see you guys engaging. I think it's night time for most of you here in Australia. It is morning. We are in the future. It is Wednesday here. Uh, it's always interesting when I do some of these webinars and you'll often, sometimes you'll see me make mistakes in the actual um, emails I send out. I'll say the webinar is tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, then I can't wait to see you this morning, which doesn't make sense, but it's my morning. 8 p.m. Eastern is the day before for me. So it can get quite uh, confusing, but I should get on uh, to that a bit better. So today is going to be a lot of fun. Today is a 100% pure value training there's absolutely nothing to sell and we are now moving into e-commerce the plan in the first webinar that i did like i discussed with you guys if you're brand new by the way if you haven't watched any of the other webinars or you haven't watched the first one and uh this is the first time you, you're on one of these webinars put a number one in the box and number two in, and put number two in the box if you've been on all the webinars like i've requested awesome got lots of twos Awesome, lots of twos. Some ones here, some ones. Some Wayne's been on, on all of them. That is awesome. So uh, today the plan is, so I discussed it in the first webinar. At the end of the day, no matter what, what product, what software, what info course you get, you need to have a business as one and you need to have buyer traffic as two. Now, Advert Suite is, is a traffic software. It's going to get you those leads. It's going to get you those customers. But traffic is useless without a business, and a business it might be the best product in the world, but it's completely useless without traffic. So we covered high-ticket affiliate marketing uh, in the past couple of webinars. Now today, again, it's 100% pure value, nothing to sell training, and we're going to be looking at e-commerce, which because you guys all picked up Advert Suite in launch week, you have got our e-commerce filter uh, section there, which I just want to show you quickly here in a second. So, if you guys, um, if this, if, if, if put a number five in the box, if e-commerce is what you are thinking of doing uh, right now, and put a number six in the box, if you are just trying to suss out what business opportunity you want to take up, you might want to take up all three: local marketing, affiliate marketing, and e-commerce here. Um, but number five in the box, if you are wanting to do e-commerce, because I know there's a lot of people that want to do it, a lot of people that want to do a bit of all. Um, uh, awesome. And then so obviously people that want to do local as well. And we're going to be covering local next week because local is my uh, forte. That's what I am the best at teaching. Um, and that's why I always, I'm, well, I not always, there's only actually two other people I ever bring onto a webinar all year, right? You've met Anthony already. Uh, he comes on once a year. It's it's one of two offers only, I only share online all year round. Um, because it just gets my students results. So quickly, I want to talk about here is we're inside of Advert Suite. I want to make sure you guys know that you got this e-com drop-down section here. This is becoming an upsell, guys. So we are make we're turning this into an upsell this week. But you have guys have got this for free for life. And what this does, it allows you to go out and find any ads that run to any e-commerce store online from Shopify, Magneto, and WooCommerce. Now, I'll I'll, I'll just run you through a quick example. I was doing uh with i was actually uh, showing my uh, my girlfriend alira this um software recently and we found this ridiculous ad. we went we searched shopify we didn't even search for a keyword but we searched shopify we looked for ads that had the most likes we hit search and we found this necklace here if you watch the training i actually did a little video showing this here um if i open this ad up 952,000 likes. They put the call to action in the description. Let's have a look what it looks like on Facebook real quick. Now, this is the ad here. They're asking you to tag someone who would like this. So they're asking the people that the advertisement is going to to tag someone who would like this, the exact target market person. They've got automatic comment responses going on everyone that gets tagged. So the people who are doing the work finding the customer, right? They've got the link to the sales page here. Now, this was called Glow in the Dark Necklace. All right. See, so really basic Shopify store we've got here. They're selling it for $22.95. Uh, if I then go to AliExpress, which if you don't know what that is, we're going to dive into that a bit more today. Glow in the Dark Necklace, hit search. 
The second one that comes up is that glow in the dark necklace, 72 uh, cents to 92 cents with free shipping. So that when anyone buys through this Shopify link that came from this ad that we found inside of Advert Suite, this cut this this company is going to make say say it was a dollar to for postage and shipping, right? They're making 21 bucks per actual sale without touching a product, without having any stock, without sending it out, without doing anything at all, besides having this really basic site set up with an absolutely highly converting ad, which you know how to know how to replicate inside of Advert Suite. Now we said out of 952,000 people that liked it, there's gonna be a lot more people that saw it. There's gonna be a lot of people that have gone to the website and purchased it out of the 163,000 shares, just say 30,000 people bought this out of this probably 2 million reach ad. Uh, 30,000 people bought this. This guy would have made $600,000, I believe, $600,000 profit for 20, um, 20 bucks times that, 30,000, $600,000 profit without having any stock, without seeing, without seeing this product physically, without dealing with shipping, without dealing with anything else besides creating this one single funnel. So give me number eight in the box if you think that is just insane, because I sure do. And if you want to see how you can do this over and over and over again, right? Awesome. There's lots and lots of people that are just saying this is absolutely insane. And you know, that's why I love e-commerce. And that's why this is such a powerful tool that you guys have got for life inside of Advert Suite. Now, uh, I've done e-commerce businesses in the past, all right? And the best way to learn how to do, uh, to have, when I do e-commerce is through the best in the business. So if instead of me teaching you fully how to do e-commerce inside of out, I've brought in one of my really good friends here, Adrian. And again, this is pure value, nothing to sell training. He's the number one uh, Shopify coach in the entire world. There's a big difference between someone who's amazing at um, doing uh, uh, doing e-commerce themselves and being able to do that, but also teach someone else how to do that from scratch. So uh, Adrian, if you're here, jump on with me now. And we're gonna, uh, for the next hour, we're gonna be talking about the e-commerce business side of things. And then I'm gonna jump in and do some more training with Advert Suite from finding products to actually setting up funnels and showing you how to do this inside of that, um, inside of the uh, ads manager. And I'm also gonna show you Instagram ads because again, Instagram ads here are so powerful and e-commerce is dominating on Instagram right now. Again, you've got the platform in there if you picked up this upgrade as well. So Adrian, if you're here, jump on, give us a, uh, everyone in the comments, give us a big, hey, um, hey, uh, Adrian. Um, Derek, oh, there I was making sure my webcam came on. What's going on? Yeah, not very good. And one thing I just want to call Derek out here again. I'm not sure if you, this was some guy last time. Derek, I did promise no selling today, guys. It's a pure value. I've said it four times on this webinar. So if you're <laughs> in that mindset, it doesn't matter if you are in that mindset or not. Look at the opportunities here. There's nothing to sell. I've said it 10 times. Don't be negative. Even if you are sold someone by someone you trust, it's an opportunity for you. But today, like I've said, 10 times, nothing to sell, pure value training. So let's go ahead and start smashing out today's webinar. Awesome, Adrian, cool. Um, you know, Luke, I'm excited to be here. Thanks so much for having me, dude. It's always a pleasure to come on your webinars. Uh, you're probably one of the five or six people on the planet I come on and do webinars for. So I'm excited to, to do this tonight. So just let me know when you're ready for me to go, dude, because I got some epic training yeah. ready for everybody. Let's smash it out. Let's smash it out. Dope. All right, cool. I'm going to take over the screen if that's cool. Yeah. And um, I think it's important to share with everybody um, some of the things that I've done. And I'm not going to do this whole highlight reel of, uh, you know, all of my successes, because let's be honest, my success is my success. It sure as heck ain't yours. And my money is my money. And it's in my account, not your bank account, okay? So I'm gonna just show you a little bit about who I am, but then I wanna focus on your money, on your success and not mine. Uh, a lot of people that don't know who I am question the validity of, is Adrian legitimately, you know, 
a real Shopify expert? Is he a real e-commerce or Facebook ads expert? And um, Shopify.com actually reached out to me due to not just my success, but my students' success. I have tens of thousands of students all over the world and asked me to fly up to their headquarters and produce a training for their entire 800,000 merchants. And that's what you're looking at right now is me front and center on Shopify.com. So I just want to start out by letting you know I'm not some YouTube guru with a fake rented Lamborghini that I leased for or rented for like two to three hours to take some photos. Uh, I run real businesses, have been for a decade. Uh, I'm recognized by Shopify. I'm front and center on their website. And I've actually made a lot of money doing this stuff. And I've helped other people do multiple eight figures in sales in total from my students. So tonight I want to be able to show you how you can cash in on the e-commerce model using advert suite um, and the strategies that i use that you can really take advantage of when you know what ads are viral and, and when you know what types of ads are crushing it on facebook which is what adverse suite basically hands over to you on a silver platter right but you know it's like the saying goes i can give you a ferrari i can hand it over and say here's a ferrari but if you don't know how to drive it you ain't going to be picking up any girls, that's for sure. It's just going to sit in your driveway. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to take the keys and I want you to, or nowadays, press the button, crank the car up and freaking take off, right? And you can see my screen here. This is inside of my Shopify store. Um, you can see the types of items that I sell. So I don't want to hide anything from you, okay? I don't want to say, oh, you can't see what I'm selling and all this and that. Um, these are the items I'm selling, $793,000 worth of leggings, $557,000 worth of shoes and tote bags and shirts and blankets and pillows. And the list goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And the thing is, is a lot of people think that when they start an e-commerce store and they start drop shipping, that they have to go sell the leggings or they have to go sell uh, T-shirts and, you know, the, the typical items that you see most people selling. When in fact, if you start out selling the items that I'm showing you on my screen right now, I promise you 100,000 percent, you are going to fail if you start trying to sell these items that are on the screen right now. I want everybody to say, I understand. If you if you catch what I'm saying right here, I want you to say, I understand if you are with me on this, okay? I don't want to show you all of my sales and say, yo, you're going to go duplicate this because you're not. You have to start at step number one. And all of these gurus out there are going in there and saying, yo, here's what I'm selling and here's how I got here and you can go duplicate this one. In fact, you can't, okay? Unless you start at step number one. So what I did is I created this strategy. It is called the niche breaker strategy, all right? So um, feel free to screenshot this. As a matter of fact, I um, suggest that you screenshot this. Um, and this is a three-step strategy that I use to break into different niches like the moon necklace that you just saw in Advert Suite and really blow up everything that I, I start marketing in Facebook ads. It all starts with step number one. Now, step number one is gonna be a viral product, all right? Now, a viral product is gonna be something that's really cheap, okay? So this is gonna be something that is super cheap and typically is gonna come from something like AliExpress. All right, AliExpress.com. Now, I know you've heard of AliExpress, and if you haven't, where the heck have you been the last couple of years? AliExpress.com is a great drop shipping site. Most goods come from China, and it is definitely not the best solution to building a multi six figure or a multi seven figure e commerce business um, just on AliExpress. What we use AliExpress for is the niche breaker, right? So we find these cheap viral products on AliExpress that allow us to go viral and break into a niche. Now these products, typically our cost on these is somewhere around like anywhere from um, 80 cents to about, I would say $3 and 50 cents, okay? So that's typically what they cost. And then we sell these products for around anywhere from 10 bucks uh, to, I would say, about 25 okay so they're super cheap and that's kind of how the aliexpress model is going to work but then we have once we find the item that we want to sell we have our facebook ad strategy okay now facebook is making some changes they're going into something that's called 
Now, I'm not going to get into it too much today, but campaign budget optimization. All right. And what we've done is we have evolved my typical strategy to work with campaign budget optimization to where essentially what we are doing is we are testing all of our ads on a five dollar daily budget. All right. I want everybody to type in five if you've got five dollars that you can risk to advertise a viral product that Adversuite uh, found you and that is super cheap with a high uh, profit margin. Type in five bucks, okay? Now, I also wanna point this out. $5 a day ain't gonna make you crap. You're not gonna make any money on a $5 a day budget. What you are going to do is you are going to break through a niche, right? You're gonna break through the niche and you're gonna figure out for $5 a day if that necklace that Adversuite pulled up can go viral and if that product is going to get you a lot of traffic and if that product is going to get you a big retargeting audience or a big email list and if it's actually going to sell right so with the five dollar a day strategy we're not trying to go in and make millions of dollars what we're trying to do is break through the profit barrier and just discover something that works. You see, most people, they don't do this. Most people go drop like $200, $300 on one product because they saw it online and they lose it. And then they go pout in Luke's group or go pout my group or go whine on Facebook or to their cousin or something about how you can't really make money online, right? And that's what most people do. But the smart people, the ones that are educated, the ones that get on webinars like this, they test first. They use rapid testing and they use the tools like Adverse Suite to give them a competitive edge and an advantage over everybody else to find the viral product, test it on a $5 budget using common sense targeting, right? And then the next piece of the puzzle is the funnel, right? So this one right here that I'm putting a star by is the most important piece of the puzzle because once you have broken through a niche, and I'm gonna show you an example of how this works. Once you've found a product that works, a product that makes money, you've got to start putting your customers through a funnel. All right, before I show you the funnel, I wanna point something else out as well. And that is what is called the flexible store. Something that I've been using since 2015, all right? So this is a battle-tested strategy. I'm not coming on here with some groundbreaking, underground secret mystery marketing tactic uh, that I just discovered that made me a zillion dollars. I'm coming on here and I'm showing you how I've made millions of dollars over the course of a couple of years using the same strategy that just works, okay? And it's called a flexible store. See, when you're finding viral products like that moon necklace that Advert Suite pulled up, the thing is, is people are going and they're listening to all these YouTube people and they're saying, oh, build a one product store, build a, a store that only sells a blender or only sells a hard drive or only sells uh, cat necklaces. And what ends up happening is you've got a bunch of Shopify stores that are all not making any money and you're paying monthly fees for Shopify and got all these apps and it sucks. If it doesn't work, then you've, you're just out a bunch of money and you got to start back from scratch. A flexible store allows you to promote all sorts of products. So you could be in the cat niche. Um, you could be in the, the, the moon niche, whatever that is. All right. You could be in the dog niche, but you could also be over here and you could be selling stuff about um, hunting, right? Um, you could be selling stuff about gadgets, right? You can test everything that you want on one single store. And let's just say that the cat stuff sucks and it doesn't work, all right? The dog stuff uh, does work, all right? So you're profiting selling dog items, which by the way, I've made a lot of money selling dog stuff. And uh, once again, the moon uh, niche does work, okay? So that's going to be in green. And this hunting niche one doesn't work, all right? I, instead of building a bunch of stores, I'm able to test everything on one single store. How many of you in here would agree that testing everything on one single store to make your profit is the most cost effective, right? And, the, and I guess I would say the most productive strategy to use as you're breaking into e-commerce. Type in flex. Go ahead and type in flex. Yes, flex, 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 flex. Okay, cool. Sweet. So I see tons of flexes coming in. And ladies and gentlemen, this is this is like the strategy. Like, I'm sorry, I 
to if you thought there was more to it but that's step one step two step three have a flexible store now i want to break it down for you okay and i want to show you like real results i want to show you exactly how this works because when you use this niche breaker strategy then you are going to experience something called the viral sales rush once you find something that actually works it is going to flood likes flood comments flood shares flood followers to instagram flood uh, followers to your facebook page and traffic is just going to start happening it's going to be something that is natural right and what you don't want to happen is this right here where you have limited stock and you run out which is why we love drop shipping because there's unlimited stock with drop shipping we never see it we never touch it we never personally ship it and we never have to run about worrying out uh, running out when the money is flowing freely and it's coming in uh, i've seen so many people on amazon and other places not doing drop shipping and they make a hundred grand real quick but they run out of product and like oh crap i have to wait two months before i can get more in stock that's not the scenario that you want to be in all right and something else that i wanted to show you here this is uh, a study i was looking at the top 30 most wanted gifts in the uk and usa sorry it's the, that's the only two countries luke um and actually australia just so you all know the number one converting country for me where i make the most profit on my ads highest margins is australia all right most mm -hmm. people just focus on us in uk mm -hmm. But, uh, dude, your your people buy a lot of stuff, Luke. Lot to buy, that's right. <laughs> I mean, it's great. But here are the top 30 most wanted gifts. All right, as we come into the holiday season, this is what people are looking for: clothing, jewelry, footwear, cash, handmade gift, physical books, tablets, so on and so forth. Well, it just so happens that three of the five things, three of the top five things, are what I actually sell and what I teach my students how to sell as well. So I wanna show you a funnel here, okay? So check this out. So you saw uh, the stuff that I'm selling, but how did I get to selling leggings? Like what type of leggings am I selling anyways? Black leggings, green leggings, what's on them? I'll tell you what's on them. Pick on these specifically, pictures of dogs, legitimately, pit bulls, uh, dachshunds, <laughs> golden retrievers. Same thing with the pillows, shoulder bags, casual shoes. And I'm gonna show you real quick how the niche breaker strategy works okay but like i said i can show it to you but you implementing it and understanding the actionable steps behind it is you know another level right so here's where it starts um actually you know what i got over here i'm not going to show you all this fluff about who i am and all this and that this is what i want to show you right here Adrian, does your strategy still work? Because you're an OG that's been doing this stuff for many, many years. Here's a graph directly from my Shopify store from when I started in early 2015 to 2019, right now, okay? Now, how many of you in here would agree that over the last couple of years, this strategy that I'm about to show you on my personal store looks like it's actually working better than ever? I want you to type in better in the chat box. So you're not learning from someone with overnight success. You're learning from someone with years and years and years of consistent, right? Consistent um, execution and consistent uh, success, right? So what I'm gonna show you is how I went from making a little bit of money to blowing it up to where I make a lot of money. And the fact of the matter is most newbies skip step number one, like I said, in the very beginning, all right? So they are absolutely clueless on how to scale Facebook ads. They're selling high ticket items on their stores when they shouldn't be because they saw somebody else selling it. They have a thousand shiny products on their store and they're not actually monetizing their buyers for more profit, which is like the biggest mistake. So Adverse Suite's gonna show you what products are crushing it right now, but you need to understand that you still have to start at step one in order to make those items or some of those items go to the next level. So he's given you the keys. What I'm trying to do is I'm gonna show you how to drive, right? I'm gonna show you how to take yeah. this to the next level. And when he does that as well, guys, just real quick, that's that's why we're doing it this way. So this little hour here is gonna be that. And then I'm gonna, uh, if you just join, I'm then gonna jump on uh, and go into the actual uh, research of the tools and using adverts to define these actual products. And 
you wouldn't believe it. There's been one other guy that just had swearing at me being like, what are you effing selling? Blah, blah, blah. There's nothing to sell here. So what I've actually done for that guy, I actually just booted him out of here and I've refunded him, even though he didn't request it. He's lost his lifetime access. And that's just sometimes what you got to do because I only want the guys that are really want to learn. And there's nothing to sell. This is pure value chain that you can implement. So um, sometimes you just got to do that. Uh, so sorry about that, Agent. I'm, no, it's I'm okay. I fired some students before as well. Some people yeah. just aren't designed for success. And anyways, if there was something, which there's nothing for sale tonight, but if there was something that I could buy or you could buy that would help my business, why the heck would I be pissed off about that? Yeah. I would I, be upset if I couldn't afford it, but I wouldn't be upset yeah. the options there. Um, exactly. And, and like you were saying, Adverse Suite really is going to show everybody what is crushing it. So it really puts you in the right spot and you're light years ahead of everybody else. And I think what I'm going to teach you and what Adverse Suite and Luke gives you is like they're going to work in perfect harmony right here. So that moon necklace that Adverse Suite brought up at the beginning, that is a niche breaker item. All right. So it immediately found a niche breaker. You just didn't know it probably. And if you look at here at the beginning of this graph, July through July, the first year, all I did was run viral products. So I made a lot of money selling a lot of or a few very viral products. And you're looking at my average order value. Okay. So my average customer was coming in buying that little 10, uh, 10 to $25 item, like I showed you, remember step one, we said find something for 80 cents, sell it for 10 to 20 bucks. All right, and that's what that line is right there um, in the very beginning that I've circled right here, okay? And that's where you don't wanna get stuck, okay? All right, that is where um, you just are, you get in this rut where you're selling cheap stuff at high volume and your profit margins start to disintegrate, right? So. What I teach students how to do is immediately two to three X their profit, but it's right when you hit step number three, which is the funnel, right? Y'all, if y'all screenshotted earlier, step one was niche breaker. Step two was um, get your Facebook ads popping. Step three is initiate a funnel. When I initiated my funnel, my customers immediately started coming in and spending $70, $80, $100. So I'm getting just as many customers, but my profit is at a much higher rate because they're coming to my store and they're just simply spending more money, right? So this is how we accelerate our profits. And I'm tonight, I'm going to show you completely free uh, six-step niche product funnel and it's you're going to see exactly how i scale my items and i'm not going to try to sell you anything okay so the number one thing that we did right is we found that niche breaker uh that niche breaker item that viral product that was super 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 cheap okay so step number one is i started selling this item right here in the dog niche i saw it and i was like man this is cool it's interesting i'm going to show you some other products tonight similar to this it's a dollar 89 to 280 and i'm going to sell a boatload of it and i did i went on to sell over seven hundred thousand dollars worth of these dog collars right here but my margins were really slim i mean they were about three dollars out the door and I was selling them for $9.95 using the free plus shipping strategy, which I still use to this very day, along with some other variations, and uh, it worked. But see, whereas some of my other friends were using the same strategy, they were selling the same product, and we were all making a boatload of money selling dog collars, what they didn't understand was the accelerator funnel. That's where they broke off, and they were like, okay, sales are dying out, I've got all of these customers that bought dog collars, but now I got to find another viral product to sell. That's the wrong thing to do, right? You find the viral product, you sell a boatload of this viral product, and you can immediately start scaling it to numbers like this right here, where you start on a monthly basis generating multiple six figures or multiple five figures, right? just with one single product until it starts to phase out. So you've got to have the funnel, right? The funnel is the key, all right? And you'll see that people are coming in to these ads and these ads are going viral for the dog collar and for our other viral products where we're getting a boatload of likes, 230,000 likes, 293,000 shares, uh, 202,000 likes, 
180, uh, no, that's 202,000 shares. You know, we're getting a lot of traffic to these different uh, niche breaker items, right? And we were able to take that dog collar to over $714,000 in sales. But eventually, the dog collar sales slowed. We still sell them to this day, but we're not doing, you know, a uh, thousand sales a day. Does everybody understand that? This is what nobody wants to talk about, by the way. That say, I understand if you're with me on this. And when you do that, just quickly, guys, if you can, ask, I'll just put a number like five in the box. If you can see Adrian's screen, I see a few people say that they can't see it. So if you can't see it, um, just jump back out and jump back into the webinar real quick. But um, you should be able to all see it. Cool, cool, cool. Just making sure on that one. So what nobody wants to talk about is what happens when a product phases out. What happens when it slows, right? And so anybody can get a viral product to pop off, but it's how do you turn it into a real business? So what I teach my students how to do is find these types of viral products where you can sell a boatload of items, but the next step after this is initiating the funnel, right? The funnel where step two begins. This is where most people either, uh, they don't know that this exists or they start here, which is even more detrimental, is to start at step two. All right, so step number two is immediately to recognize, oh, I just sold a viral product in uh, the dog niche. So what are some other products that I can sell in the dog niche? And so what we started doing is we found this print on demand company that sold pillows. And we said, you know what, let's take different pictures of dogs or let's take different sayings about dogs and let's market these, uh, these pillow cases to all of the people that bought our uh, dog collar, which was 65,000 people. And so we just sent an email to them because they were on our email list. Uh, we sent Facebook ads out to them and boom, like tens of thousands of dollars started coming in. I could not believe it, dude. I mean, it was crazy. If you had asked me about 10 years ago, if I thought that I would be selling hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of pillows, I would have thought you were freaking crazy. All I cared about was playing Xbox and Call yeah. of Duty. <laughs> but now I'm like selling pillows, right? And I'm obsessed mm -hmm. with them. And it's because they make money. And then step number two started to die out a little bit. You know, we still sell the pillows, we still get sales, but the big like sizzle is gone. And so boom, step number three is we move things to a higher ticket item of $24. Uh, we started putting the same exact quotes, the same exact images on t-shirts. And then step number four, we started selling them on handbags. Now you might be asking, Adrian, where do you get t-shirts from? Where do you get handbags from? Where do you get pillows from? I'm gonna show you, okay? It's all done for you, it's all drop shipped. And what we did is we walked people through this funnel. I sold hundreds of thousands of dollars of these high top shoes, the men and women with the same stuff on them that were on the pillows, that were on the shirts, that were on everything else. And essentially what you have to learn how to do is you have to learn how to get that niche breaker product. That's down there at the bottom left, right? And you have to learn how to make that go viral on Facebook using a $5 a day ad strategy for testing. And then immediately start sending all of your customers through a funnel like this right here, where you start selling the same person more products because you know that they're interested in dogs. How many of you would agree if somebody buys a dog collar, then it stands to reason that they might want to buy some other dog related products. Just type in heck yeah in the chat box. Type in heck yeah. All right. So um, this right here is, uh, I see lots of heck yeahs coming in. You have a very active group. This is what I did. And once I did it for the dog niche, guess what I did after that? I went and did it for the tactical niche, right? Then I went and did it for the cat niche, right? And we keep going and breaking through different niches using that bottom left section, that niche breaker item. But it's not about just finding the product, it's about how do you position the product, right? As a, as a very cheap offer or as a free offer or a free plus shipping offer, you know, what is the best strategy for setting up this funnel? Because as we sit here right now, I can show you all the funnel. But how many of you in here agree that right now, let's just be honest, that even though you see an exact funnel that's helped me earn millions of dollars, you agree that you're probably not gonna go and institute this exact funnel tonight and make any money at all. Just say, type in a money sign if you agree with me on that. All right, I'm just out here being real. I'm not out here fluffing you up or anything like that. 
Um, so there is a method to the madness. There is a science behind when, I see some questions, Adrian, when do you uh, start selling the next item? How do you start selling the next item? You know, there is a full science to how this works. And once you have this implemented, I wanna show you what happens. See, there's people that are always chasing the dollar. They, uh, you gotta spend money to make money, spend money to make money, spend money to make money on ads, right? All right, well, I wanna show you what this strategy does for my business. So here's a, the inside of my Shopify dashboard, and it is a real customer, so legally I have to uh, you know, blur out her name because I don't know who she is, but I love her. Uh, she has come to my store, and over one year, she has been a customer, customer of mine, and when I took this screenshot, she had just placed the order two hours prior, and she had placed 20 different orders. So over the course of an entire year, she has come back 20 times to my store and bought more stuff. And she has spent $545. So one single customer has come to my store and spent $500 and ordered 20 different times. Now, I want you to rewind your brain a couple of, uh, maybe a couple of minutes and remember that slide I showed you with that Ascension model, right? That's what Esther went through. Esther bought the niche breaker product and then she kept going through the funnel time and time again over the course of the year and buying more stuff. So when I get a customer in my funnel, that customer becomes worth hundreds of dollars to me, not just the $9.95 uh, cents that they spent on the viral product, right? And that's the difference between you know, a lot of these overnight marketers that make like 100 Gs real fast and then are broke the next day uh, versus someone like me that's been running the same e-commerce stores for various years, um, using flexible stores, always selling different things and breaking into different niches consistently. That's why I'm on the front of Shopify.com when you go to their academy. It's because I understand like how to make this a real business and not just a little side hustle that works today and not tomorrow. In the end, it's about the funnel. It's about repeat customers and getting them to come back to your store and buy more stuff. It's about understanding how do you get customers, and by the way, these are leggings and blankets. I had these blurred out for another group of people, but um, you can see this one person came in and spent $700 on my store because they went through a funnel, right? And that's what you need to learn how to do is get people to come in buy all this stuff and all of these sales that you see, I promise you this, the same people that spent 121K on pillows are a lot of them are the same people that also spent 100 grand on blankets and leather totes and shoulder bags and shirts. These are essentially the same, same 176,000 people. You can see over there in the top left, we had sold 176,000 customers and there is coming back and buying all different things because they're going through the niche breaker funnel. Now, if you're asking Adrian, where do I find all of that stuff and how does this work? Luke, do I have like maybe 10 or 15 more minutes to do some more teaching? Yeah, for sure. Smash it out. And by the way, as, uh, as Adrian's been mentioning a bunch of these different products and niches, I've been uh, in the background here grabbing it for advert suite. So when I, he finishes after 15 minutes or so, we'll jump back into uh, showing you some of these uh, products that we found but yeah take take it away uh, adrian for now Sweet. cool awesome yeah. well um i i do i have tens of thousands of students so i have some diagrams that i drew out that i'm going to share and hope that they make sense uh, mm -hmm. for you all but here's a diagram that i drew of how the flex store works um just to answer some questions that i see in the box i knew i was going to get so essentially what we are doing is we're running facebook ads traffic we find viral ads uh, much like the ones that Adfert Suite just found at the beginning of this training. And we build fan pages, Facebook fan pages around those niches. So what you see right here in the center, these are Facebook fan pages. So we have a cat fan page, a dog fan page, a grandparent, tactical, biker, uh, jewelry fan pages. Um, I also run Instagram pages for rings and bracelets. And we have hundreds of thousands of followers on our, our different Instagram pages. And one of the keys is building fan pages and Instagram pages around a niche, a passion audience. If you build a fan page that says, um, hey, 
we are gear grabber all right that's our store this is a demo store but come like our facebook page gear grabber come like our instagram gear grabber nobody wants to like your freaking brand they, they don't care about liking your e-commerce store unless you're fashion nova right so your strategy isn't going to be to build a big fan page around our instagram around your shopify store's brand name what your strategy is going to be is building your page uh building your fan pages around niches and because you run a flexible store like i showed you earlier that sells firefighter stuff dog stuff fishing stuff cat stuff because you run fan pages that can dump all of your traffic into this one place that sells everything for everyone you're able to take all the traffic from those fan pages push them over to your shopify store right your e-commerce store or wordpress store or big commerce store whatever it is that you choose to use and you're able with one store to generate sales in every single niche in one place and by the way guess what happens everybody that buys from you goes on your email list right so now you can start sending out emails to all of your customers promoting more items to them and this is how that would work okay so here's another diagram of the sales funnel all right so you got your facebook traffic here you send them over here to your shopify store all right you collect their email address as they go through your funnel they purchase something right they, this is the sales funnel they hit your store they opt in they add a product to cart they buy you make money what happens after that is all of those people from here and from here all right the opt-in page and the thank you page they go on your email list automatically and guess what happens you start sending them emails every single week so here's some emails all right i know that you bought the dog collar you're on my email list so now i'm going to email you the pillows right and boom we start pushing free traffic and free sales through email marketing to our next product and then to our next product and it goes week after week after week after week and every day we have new traffic dumping leads into our email list how many of you in here follow me so far on this uh, desiree says i love this training um and uh michael says this is brilliant all right so uh nick said how do you handle returns uh well for returns uh we have less than a one percent refund rate and if it's a cheap item then we just give them their money back because what happens is you give them their 10 bucks back and they love you so much they come buy some more stuff or we get our drop shipping vendor to send them a new item um, or we just have if it's a custom product we have a no refund policy all right so that's how that works um so you collect the emails uh you start marketing to them and i won't go into all the facebook retargeting just yet um what i'll do is i'll show you on shopify some of the places that i am using to uh start ascending my funnel right all right so one of the main places that i use is t launch uh and pillow profits now the great thing about shopify is they have a full app store and you can go plug in different apps to your store to supercharge it and many drop shipping companies have uh designed shopify apps that allow you to plug and play so for example i've made uh seven plus figures with this company pillow profits they're a shopify app you find them right on the shopify app store and when you uh open them up here what it's going to do is it's going to show you <clears throat> excuse me I had, I had a hiccup uh, it's going to show you a bunch of products that you can immediately start drop shipping you don't see them you don't touch them you don't ship them you don't put them in inventory you don't pay for them up front these are all products you can list on your website completely free and you don't spend a dime unless you generate a profit unless you generate a sale okay so if i sold a bunch of dog collars right then it stands to reason i could come over here and get these car seat covers and i could make a car seat cover with dog quotes and dog pictures on it or these quilts or these shoes um, or I've sold a lot of those shoes, uh, these handbags, these slippers, bean bags. These are all items that you can legitimately one click and they are on your store and fully customized. There are the leggings, jackets. All right, so these are all items that we can do in here. Now, of course, 
Um, I teach a strategy on how to find artwork that you can copy and paste onto these different items. How many of you in here would like to see just a real quick demo of how a uh, how this would work? Uh, me actually making a product. Type in money signs if you'd like to see a quick demo of how this would work. Remember, this is not the niche breaker, right? This is part of the funnel. These are the items that we're selling to really get some serious money coming through. All right, cool. Lots of money so one time. item that we've sold a lot of, uh, I believe we're in the six figure range, is these linen tote bags and they just sell like straight fire. Let me see if I can <laughs> uh, find them in here. There's so many. All right, here we go. There's six bucks. We sell them for like 12 to 15 as like an upsell and they absolutely crush. All right, so I'm gonna give you an example of how this works. Now, I have some files on my computer over here and all I have to do is drag and drop these files over to uh, the, the browser window. So I just wanna show you, these are the files. This is my, uh, whatever, my file manager. I have multiple screens. That's why I'm like looking around and stuff. So I wanted to start selling this right here. Let's see if I can make it pop over. All right, I just grabbed this image and this is in a tattoo uh, niche. This, this bag sells really well. Actually, um, this image did over like $10,000 in sales, I believe it was, where we get this beautiful piece of art and I just drag and drop it. By the way, I didn't hire a graphic designer to make that. All right, Luke, so just so you remember, I actually go find artists. They're all over the place that are desperate, broke artists that will give me their artwork for free to sell on different items. And then I just either pay them a one-time payment or I'll give them like a 5% royalty or something on sales. Um, so I don't have to worry with design or anything. I have like artists working for me for free and they only make money if I sell something, right? Yeah. And, and so, that's always unique as well. Yeah, it's really cool. And then uh, not everybody likes blue. So we'll put the, uh, the pink variant over here, right? And you'll see that it's gonna upload it. I'm just dragging and dropping it just so y'all could see how it works. And while that's loading, we'll just put blue. And then over here, we'll put pink. And I can put as many different colors as I want, as long as I have the images, okay? And immediately, I hit review, publish designs. And uh, it's gonna, we'll just name it like, we'll call it Calavera Girl Test, because this is my demo site. This app will automatically give you a description and everything. We know that it's a $6 product, that's the cost, right? So we're gonna sell it for $14. I just looked on my other screen, that's what we sell them for, $14.95, right? Hit publish product, boom. Now, in a matter of seconds, this is gonna be live on my site. I never see it, never touch it, never ship it, I never spend a single penny on this product. But if somebody comes to my store uh, through one of my ads, right? and they purchased this product, which is now listed on Gear Grabber here. You can see it right here, see the variants. All right, this company will process the order, the money goes in my bank account, and they ship it out, and I never do anything, right? And I get to choose what my profit margin is. How many of you in here think that is freaking awesome right there? Just go ahead and type in awesome right now. Uh, Nick said, how do you deal with long shipping times? I don't, but I use strategies for fast shipping. Now, some companies, they might take two weeks on a niche breaker product, but once you get to the funnel level, this stuff like 10 days max, uh, 10 to 11 days, and this will ship. And some of these companies will ship directly from the United States as well. Um, and you'll also notice that uh, Pillow Profits has a DHL section where they'll get their items in like four to five days. They also have a design catalog of done for you designs if you don't wanna to have to worry about graphics or art or anything like that, with like, I don't, I think it's like 5,000 different designs already done for you. Uh, I'm not selling you this app. It's just an app on the Shopify store that I use. Uh, they're awesome. And they actually contract artists to come and create products for their sellers to sell that don't wanna to have to customize stuff, right? So that's there. And then there's another one that I use called T-Launch. T-Launch is in the US. Um, and they also do something similar, but they don't have the same types of items. It's a free Shopify app, and you can immediately start selling apparel. You can start selling drinkware. Uh, the beer steins are really cool. By the way, if you start doing this, the wine tumblers crush 
target women that are 35, actually 45 plus years old. And I put some funny wine sayings on there and 45 plus year old women love those things. It is unbelievable. The wine niche is another one uh, that I've done super, super well in. And if you're of that age, no offense. It's just the, the numbers don't lie. That's where the profit is. All right. So I'm about to be 35. Uh, jewelry, uh, kitchenware. So what we what we do is we use an endless supply. Remember earlier when I showed you that Ascension funnel? I have an endless supply of items once I break through a niche that I can start selling. And I mean, it's like never ending, right? Even all the way to wall art. Once again, never see it, never touch it, never ship it. Um, and I just find a cheap product, put it through my niche breaker strategy, and I get a boatload of traffic real fast. And I immediately start selling the same people that bought the cheap product more products like that that moon loop that you pulled up at the beginning you take that an image of a moon like that and you start putting it on different products guaranteed it's going to sell like imagine putting that moon on some of these bracelets here or imagine putting that moon on where was it uh some of like the sides of these headphones right here um obviously people that identify with the crescent moon might love it on some of these other items right here. And so that's where you have to have that extra training that shifts your mind away from always selling the one single viral yeah. product until it find, until it you know phases out, that how to scale it to something that could do multiple six figures or uh, you know up to multiple seven figures um, like I've already done. Well, I'm exactly right. And I think there's a stat out there, it's something like if some, every time someone makes a purchase, it's the majority of them will make a purchase uh, five times more expensive within the next 30 days. And even, I think it's 10% on average will buy something 20 times more expensive in the same niche or something similar within the next 30 days. So if you're not giving them these other options, they're gonna be going somewhere else to buy them, right? So it's an absolute no-brainer to be doing it this way. Yeah, I mean, for sure, man. And I see a lot of questions about like, what's the difference between China shipping and US shipping? Uh, Pillow Profits, they ship from China, but they're based in the U.S. They're based in um, Arizona. And uh, also, like, they have DHL shipping. So you can use, like, an expedited shipping process with them, and people get their items really, really fast. They also ship some products from the U.S. T-Launch is 100% U.S. shipping. And also, that's just two apps. Like, I use a lot of different apps that are all free, um, or most of them are free to use and they ship from the US. So we get mega, mega fast shipping times. The last thing that I'll show that a lot of people uh, don't know about on AliExpress is because I have to go do another webinar for like my actual students. I do a free webinar for them every week is AliExpress also does US shipping. So if we typed in like uh, Crescent Moon Necklace, if I spelled that right, I don't know. Um, here we go, Crescent Moon Necklace. All right, 54,000 results for Crescent Moon Necklaces. But if you come here to this little thing that says ship from the United States, let's see, there's 771 vendors that ship Crescent Moon Necklaces directly from the US on AliExpress. So, um, you know, don't get caught up in the whole, it's only China stuff. Um, it, all you have to do is like use your brain a little bit and you can find some, uh, you know, that stuff that ships super cheap from the United States and, and lets you break into a niche. And um, so I, I hope that I've provided a lot of value for y'all. And I, I usually stay on webinars like three hours, but I do have to go do a webinar for like my <laughs> students um, that are probably waiting on me right now. So um, yeah. do y'all feel like y'all got some value out of this? I know Luke has a lot more training to do, but- Yeah, we're smashing now, guys. So I really, really wanted to give you that, got that overview just now. And I'm actually gonna get, uh, Adrian to come back on with us on Thursday so we can, can continue this if you guys are keen to keep on looking into these opportunities and getting a bit more in deeper and how to actually action some of this stuff so put a big uh, thank you Adrian in the comment if that's if you would like that you'd love him to come back on on Thursday remember we're about to jump into some advert suite training now but it's so important to see the actual end result and how things work rather than just going spending money on ads just for a one little icebreaker type product like Adrian was just saying just now. Sweet. Yeah. And I'll totally come back on since tonight. I know that our webinar has kind of overlapped a little bit. So, wow. Thank you so much. Everybody is saying such nice things. Um, dude, thank you so much for having me on your webinar here. I'm stoked to come back on. 
and continue with this and show everybody a way more in-depth case study and presentation. I'll actually go live and find products and stuff like that. So it'll be fun. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, thanks so much, Adrian. And um, I'll take the screen back off you now. We'll see you Thursday. Guys, everyone, make sure to be on the webinar on Thursday. Again, I'll send you the link here afterwards. You guys are already registered, Adrian. You'll be here then. Say hi to your uh, uh, to your Power Hour students. I know I've got a lot of um, uh, people here that are actually in your um, webinar, so I'm going to try to make them stay with me for now. But uh, you know, coming with me. And, yeah, right, we'll see what happens, Adrian. Right whatever. <laughs> All right, thank you, mate. Cheers, All right, guys. Let me take the screen right now because we are going to jump into some advert suite training. Who here has a bit of an understanding of? Um, uh, let me go ahead and grab this. Better understanding of how. One second. I'll show you this window here of how e-commerce works to a, a bit more of a or a better a better example. Um, understands it a bit more and the kind of way to actually get into the big money, right? Most people will just teach you. Okay, here's a little product. Sell it and then try to find lots of other little products, sell them, right? Um, so what I want to do now is let's get into the advert suite training. And I just thought it was so cool just then how we were talking about um, that Crescent Moon necklace. Again, I told you guys how me and my beautiful girlfriend is actually on this webinar, uh, which is pretty cool, watching some stuff with Adrian and I, uh, how, um, how that came about and then how we can actually expand that into a bigger business. Um, and, Jumping on here, let's go ahead and uh, get into some adverts for training. So as we were talking about uh, different niches and different ideas, and I've actually done some research in the background here, and this is how you can do it live. Again, this isn't like a pre-written webinar. I'm showing you examples live that I've just done them, and you could literally do them in the exact same amount of time. So remember, you guys get this option here called uh, the actual e-commerce uh, module that you've all picked up you get it for life it's not going to be recurring for you it is for others that pick it up after the fact so a massive congratulations on picking this up in launch week i've literally just clicked on shopify and typed the word dog in i then uh, can filter it from likes and stuff if i wanted but let's just scroll down and see what dog products are being sold on a shopify store i can also then flick over to magneto or woocommerce as well but let's stick with shopify for now because that's uh going to be the, the easiest way for you guys to get started in this method. So you can see here, let's see what this, it's a, <laughs> this is a bloody dog drinking cup. Let's open this one up and see what this is all about. And one thing I love, you see a lot with new ads as people using emojis. Engagement goes up so much more when you use emojis. My parents use emojis when they text me these days. It's crazy, right? Again, they have put the call to action URL in the actual text. Remember, that is a very common trait we see with the, some of the best performing ads. I've taught this on the previous webinars that in Ads Manager here, when you're doing a Facebook ad, traffic ads and engagement ads, uh, sorry, traffic ads and conversion ads, uh, which are essentially a click to a website ad, cost more money to run because Facebook's saying, okay, we'll let you take, out, take this visitor off Facebook uh, by taking up a large portion of the news feed. Um, but we're going to charge you more, more for it versus if you do a video ad or a brand awareness ad where you're essentially just promoting a video and you can add the call to action in the text itself. So the whole ad isn't clickable, but you can still get a lot of clicks uh, and a lot more viral reach because you were just promoting people to watch a video on Facebook and if they like it, they can then go ahead and click accordingly. Um, so let me just go ahead and open this up here uh, and we'll see what we've See what this looks like here. So let's watch this little dog cup. Hydrate your beloved dog on the go. Walks, walks, walks. Let's see what this looks like here. <laughs> so easily feed your dog with one hand. Simple little product, right? Let's click on the actual call to action link here. Let me click out of this video. That's blasting noises in my ears. Shopify store again, selling it for 24 bucks. They said that it, it was $39.99. I can guarantee you it has never been $39.99. Let's go ahead and pull up AliExpress. And let's see if we can find this product really quickly here. Portable pet water bottle. And this is fun. Like me and my girlfriend the other day, we're just looking at random uh, look, bloody hell, millions of these silly things. There's seven bucks with free shipping, right? This weird looking thing is one dollar. 
seven dollars. So it's around seven bucks for this product. Here's one for three bucks, and they're selling it for twenty nine bucks um, or twenty four bucks here. So they're making fifteen bucks profit when they're not even touching anything. They just posted a little video, right? Pretty damn simple and easy. That can be the first barrier to entry product. Now you know, uh, once you've sold this product, you know they've got a dog, you can then market other products related to the dog. So let's go ahead and have a look what other products are being sold here. Dog phone cases, uh, in the example that um, Adrian was inventioning them with that pillow profit software, uh, you can just pick anything and put your actual brand, your logo, your design on it. Um, my girlfriend has two of the most amazing dogs and I wanna make a little line of, um, products with her that imagine putting like your three cool dogs on this or there that would be pretty damn amazing right um so scrolling down through here you can see this dog max there's dog beds there's what's this a dear dog dna test um look at that alira there you go again um looks very similar to alira's dog but just much much smaller dog beds dog nail files look nineteen thousand likes on this dog nail file right let's let's go to aliexpress type in Dog nail grinder. Look, the exact same product here. Look, that's it right there. Nine bucks. Let's see what they're selling it for. Look at these Atlas smart ads. Um, let's move, open this one up here. Again, call to action in the actual ad text, very common trait, remember? Now, let's go ahead and check out the call to action if they're still selling this product. 39 bucks they're selling it for. They're just selling a standard grinder, which isn't as cool as, I don't think that's what was in the ad. Oh, it might be, I don't know. Uh, it just might just have a little cap on it. Yeah, so it is the same thing. So for this one, 60 bucks Australian. So you can pick this up for, look here, three dollars they're selling it for 60 bucks and it's converting as 19,000 likes on that actual ad right imagine tying that together absolute no-brainer there so that's another example we uh let me click this out here um another example of a dog product here now i want to jump into some other examples outside of dogs as well because it seems to be the go-to uh, example but again when you're selling a product Think of passion products, high perceived value, low, low cost. That's going to be a tripwire purchase, right? So um, a question here, would I set up a whole Shopify store to get started or couldn't you just sell it on ClickFunnels pages? That takes money. Look, you could sell it on a ClickFunnels pa um, uh, page that just collects money. You can create your own Word WordPress site and use WooCommerce, which is another checkout. There's, there's so many different ways you can do it, but Shopify has just kind of gained the actual um, I guess the, the go-to tool because it has all these other apps that connects to it next connects to it think of shopify like your mobile phone and then you download apps for your mobile phone that are exclusive to that phone samsung for apps there's some i can't download on my iphone right so think of it like that you can get the same outcome of a site in so many different ways it just depends on which way you want to go and if you want to get the least barrier to entry uh shopify is definitely a really good option because um, it's all kind of pre-made for you. It's lots of just drag and drop. You can add on these apps. Whereas um, similar with, you can do it with, with WordPress and if you have to create your site, connect your hosting, all that type of stuff, it still is the same method. If you're familiar with that, go for it. But if you're getting started, Shopify is a really great method to go. Um, Gregory says, how do I make the ads? I'll get to that shortly and we'll do some examples there. But I wanna show you how easy it is to use your purchase of Advert Suite to really just go in and find what works and it's going to make you so excited. Um, I remember the other, other day, um, my girlfriend was over, she was telling me about one of her friends that uh, was making a couple of million dollars a year selling diffusers, you know, oil diffusers. I think I did a search here for it, um, somewhere diffusers. So I can see all the Shopify ads that go to an actual um, diffuser, uh, diffusing oils here, flash sales. And uh, this is a booming niche, right? Uh, and the way, the way this lady was doing it, she was actually, um, she buys a lot of stock, holds the stock and then sends it out herself. Um, there's positive and, positives and negatives for doing it that way, but uh, um, you can, um, but what the way we're gonna be showing you guys is the least barrier to entry where you don't need money to buy stock. 
you can have it all done completely automated. You don't need to turn your house into a warehouse hoping your stock will sell. You make profit on every product individually. So let's go back to some more examples here um, that I picked up for you guys. See you later, dog's nails. Now, oh, and one other thing I'll, I'll just show you quickly related to dogs, another massive um, was dog costumes. <laughs> another one that um, my partner and I were looking at. Look at this, dog costumes, a bloody cat, fat cat. Little captain dog, right? Two bucks, two bucks, two bucks. Who here has bought a costume for their dog? Be honest. Let me know if you have and let me know how much you roughly paid for it, right? You've probably spent anywhere between 30 bucks to 80 bucks. I remember I was in Hawaii a couple of years ago and I saw a Hawaiian shirt that would look so adorable on my dog at the markets. And I think I spent like 45 bucks on it, right? Tiny piece of cotton, very low cost, high perceived value. Um, Gregory said, George says, never. I'm sorry for you. If you have a pet, get yourself a dog costume. It makes it really funny, right? Um, Corey says, how do I get paid for the product and pay the shipper? So when you use AliExpress, any money that comes in, so let's, um, let me just get an example of a site here. Let's have a look at, um, let's just do something else. Let's go to this next page here. I did the example for pillows like Adrian was talking about. So I just literally typed in pillow Click, click Shopify and now I can see the best performing pillow ads. Look at this Pokemon cartridge of the old school Pokemon pillows that is just going to be dominating. Again, call to action in the actual text. Take notes, guys. Uh, open this up here. I'm gonna open, the, uh, actually, what I can just click on this directly here to see the actual ad itself. So they've stopped selling. Oh, they've, they've, they don't have a secure site by the look of it. Let me just click on this here and see if it'll let me go through. So again, you can see that they made a gaming page here selling gaming goods. Let me just risk my privacy real quick. No, nah, so they've stopped selling this product here. So this could be a great one that you could go out and replicate right away. You can see everyone engaging here and they're not taking advantage of that comment response idea where you can automatically have every comment posted, having someone then respond to it. But instead of someone, you can have a software doing it, which I'll, which I'll share with you guys on Thursday's webinar, how to actually do that, um, which will be pretty cool. But um, let's go find a different pillow example here. Look, a cat pillow, just like he was talking about. It was doing it with dogs. Here's one with cats, 10,000 likes. I like to stay at home with the cat. It's too peoply outside, All right? I'm going to pick out of this one. Let me take this link. Let's see if they're still selling this product for us. No, again, they've taken this one down. It's probably the same vendor, actually. Let's fly out. And then you just play around. But this is a great place to get the ideas of the actual imagery of the photos what's selling, what's working on ads, even if it's in the past, if they've stopped running the ads, gives you an opportunity to take over because it's worked for them. They might've just um, moved into a different niche. They just, and it gives you guys opportunities to just jump back on what's working because there's no one fulfilling that need anymore, right? Um, let's see if these guys here, this might be the same actual company again. Um, this might just be a massive pillow marketer. So this, this, this fan page is just called Mostly Pillows. There we go. 21 bucks for this custom pillow. I think it cost a couple of bucks that he showed you um, before. And again, you can just add in any logo, any design, any text. You can have this customized. These guys even customize it um, to your names, right? Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, Mr. and Mrs. Harris, again, this is going to be another passion product that people would love when they're all excited. They just got married. They've just had Valentine's. Whatever it might be, they can take advantage of this. Um, one thing I'm going to show you guys in a minute is talking about creating these type of products around special events, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day, birthdays, wedding engagements, divorce parties, whatever the hell it is. There's always an opportunity to sell something for that passionate time in their life. Now, the way this works is when someone buys this pillow, say this costs $2 to make, right? 
the question was, how do I actually um, pay the vendor so then they make it and how do I keep the profit? The way it works is it's completely autonomous. When the money comes into your Shopify store or your WordPress store or your Magneto store, whatever you're building your shopping cart on, if you're using AliExpress, the money gets uh, comes into your account first. It then gets split accordingly into the actual uh, vendor's account. So they get the, the payment the second and the order request the second you get paid from the customer and you just simply keep the profit. That's it. You don't need to go sending money out to people individually. You don't need to buy a stock. You don't need to do any of that, right? Um, so keep that in mind when you're doing that. So let's go into some more examples here. Um, so pillows are obviously a really big one there um, that Adrian was talking about. And again, I know Adrian sold $300,000 in one year selling cat socks. You saw there was leggings in there. Imagine having those leggings with your favorite, um, with, with, with your own puppy's face on it. You can upload any image and get, and create any of these products. I saw, a, I saw a, a saucepan or like a frying pan and a frying spatula that you can customize. It's ridiculous the opportunities that are out there that people buy it's because it's a low investment but a high emotional value purchase and combining those together makes a lot of money. So you can go in here and really start segmenting out the ads. Uh, look at this, a sausage, a hot dog bed for the dog. An avocado shaped pillow that's pretty cool i don't know why i'd want it but they do look at this wolf pillow cases it's, it's i don't get this niche either but people love shirts with these crazy wolves and mysterious myst um, mysterious oh, i don't even know what i'm trying to say is um but these very interesting animals on it here's another pokemon case one here that's that obviously doing really well and you can just scroll down and get so many ideas and remember, when you look at what works for this, think about how this can then tie onto other products. Again, Adrian will be back on Thursday and he'll show you that in more detail, how this then connects. And at the same time, when you actually sell these low, uh, low investment, high emotionally purchasing goods, you're building your email list. You, everyone here has heard the saying, the money is in the list. When you have an email list, you are fully in control of your business. Um, like for example, I know Anthony Morrison a few years ago, he used to run Facebook ads, sorry, Google ads, right? Back in the day when you could spam cat pillows on your website a billion times and Google would say, oh wow, this site must be related to cat pillows. I'm going to then rank it for that. And back then you could, ju you could just, if you wanted to spend the most money, you could then buy all the ad spots on that page. So every ad spot in Google, so that at the top of the bar, when you're searching Google, there's ads at the bottom of the bar, as Google Ads and these to be side ones back in the day, he was making 200 grand a month from doing these Google Ads. He wasn't building an email list, he wasn't doing anything. He was just selling products direct from an ad to a product. But then what happened, Google changed its algorithm and said, these guys are just spamming our actual um, our algorithm here. We, and we're not gonna allow people to do this. And then they changed it. So you can only have one ad spot in every search result. You couldn't have all 10, even if you paid the most money, so he went from 200 grand a month to $2,000 a month, right? Same as on Facebook. I know people that have had all their business that ran purely through Facebook and Facebook ads or Google ads or YouTube ads and whatever it is. But because they weren't building an email list, who, is in, who owns their business, right? If Facebook shuts down, YouTube shuts down, Google ever shuts down, someone, you get your ad account banned, something happens and you don't have an email list there, you've... Facebook really owns your business in that case, right? Because you can't work without them. If you have an email list, that means no matter what happens to anyone else in the world, you still have your own business there. And that's a great thing with e-commerce. When people buy these products, you get that actual email, right? If you have your own affiliate marketing product and someone opts into your funnel, you have that email there, right? So we use the tools that work now to build an actual business outside of these social networks that we're using as well. So I want to clarify that with you guys there. I know there's a bunch of questions coming in, uh, but I will answer them in a minute. But I just want to jump through a bunch of these other examples real quick because it's really exciting and really fun to see this in action. And never before have you been, has anyone been able to see all this type of information like that, right? So let's move on um, from pillows here to another example that I've got up for you guys. Here, so sometimes people are looking for free uh, 
plus shipping option. So again, that means, let me write this down here. So uh, Adrian teaches free plus shipping. So there's three ways you, you can sell a low investment product, right? You could do, and like a low investment, where I'm talking, I don't know, up to 30 bucks, that has a high perceived value. You could do product plus shipping, right? So that would be something like $5 plus, just for argument's sake, $5 shipping. You could sell it for product plus free shipping. So that means the product would be 10 bucks plus free shipping. Now, looking at these two, you'd be amazed at how many people opt out of purchasing a product because of shipping costs in there. Even if it's only five bucks, they're like, oh, why the hell would I pay shipping when the product's only five bucks? I don't really need this, right? Um, and then the third method is free product with free product, just pay shipping, right? So that, that would look like zero dollars for the product with ten dollars shipping right they're all the exact same product it's all it, they're all the same way here but to get the obviously the best option here that in terms of a low investment purchase uh would be a free product with a uh, shipping and handling charge on top people think they're getting something for free they don't mind paying a little bit of shipping like shipping and handling Second best, obviously, is free sh as a product with free shipping because that stops people opting out when they're ready to buy because they don't like seeing more add added numbers being added on to that amount. You've probably all done it here. Put a number five in the box. If you've gone to purchase something, you're like, all right, you know what? I'm willing to spend 50 bucks on this. And then, but, you know, do I really need it? I don't really need it. But you know what? 50 bucks. You get to the checkout, it says 75 bucks, right? Or you get sent with all these different options of different shipping methods. Number five in the box, if that's made you stop doing an actual purchase. See, heaps of people here saying um, five, right? Cool, cool, cool. Um, cool, I'm just looking at a bunch of your comments here. You guys are fighting. Um, so look, we looked at dogs, let's move on from there. Let's have a look at, all right, so what I did in this example, I clicked on the Shopify store. In keywords, I searched for the word free. So this is going to show me um, anything, any ad that has the word free in it, right? So this could mean free shipping or this could mean free product, right? So you can see here on this ad here, and then I filtered it by the most likes. So I want to see the ads that have the word free on it that have the most likes. So this product here, after receiving 400 requests on the Facebook page, we finally made these available. 50% off and free shipping on our launch special. Scarcity, they're using scarcity here for this. Tag someone who would look amazing in these. Now, let's just, this is very similar to that necklace that I showed you guys. You'll see there's lots of common traits that people do um, when they do this. So let's go ahead. So I've asked people to engage. We've got 20,000 comments. I can guarantee you there would not be that many comments if they didn't ask them to do that. All right? Boom. It'd be very similar again. Auto responded comments to uh, some of them actually, not all of them. Now again, oh yeah, there we go, there we go, yes, yes. Uh, it looks like these people might actually be manually responding to all these people. When there's a way you can automate this, imagine manually responding to 10,000 comments, it would just be insane. People are getting tagged that want this, you just automatically, I'll show you in Thursday's webinar how to automate that response with your call to action link and actually show, give you an opportunity of how to do that for free as well. Um, so it's pretty cool. But let's have a look at the link to this site here. Wonderlust earrings. $12.95, right? Uh, Adrian, Adrian actually, this is a pretty cool, um, Exit pop that some Shopify stores have. Adrian will actually teach you this as well. Um, that if you go to exit the page, they are still trying to get your email. So even if they don't buy, this is a way you can get that person's email to follow up with them at a later date. They might not be want to buy right now. Remember, I always talk about there's always customers that want to buy right now today. 
there's a bigger group of people that want to make a purchase, but it might be in three to six months. But everyone's focusing on the people that want to buy today first that bigger group. So these guys are doing a great example of trying to get your email to follow up with you in future. And they make it fun by this little spinny wheel app that you can type your email in and try your luck. Let me even just do it even though I'm gonna be um, smashed with earring purchases. Um, I'm gonna try my luck. And now I'm gonna play this fun little game and what am I gonna get? 5% off all orders. That might be the reason that makes me want to go ahead and convert to buying this product right now so I can get even cheaper than $12.95, right? Let's jump into AliExpress and see if I can find this Wonderlust earring, right? I might not be able to, but because um, it might be named something different on here. But these are all the earrings that you can sell. Let me just type in, what does this look like? Can, can someone give me a good answer to what you would call this type of earring, maybe gold spiral earring. I know I'm creative, guys. Gold spiral earring. Look at that. I found it just now. 83 cents to a dollar. Free shipping. It's not hard, guys. And these guys, remember, have 285,000 likes on this post. It's a simple image they've literally just copied from this silly site, from Ali AliExpress, right? They've asked you to tag someone who would like this. They've put the link in the description. That's the first purchase. And then remember to make that big money, you then will then take this and create other products for it because you've then got their email list. And even if they don't buy, there's an opt-in option there. This is how you create a really legitimate full-time business that will make so much money in this day and age that it just, it's almost sounds silly. Like I know when I, when I speak to my partner about this, I, she's now just finally seeing, she's going, wow, because she's looking at this now. She's like, wow, this is actually ridiculous. I'm busting my ass so hard when I can just see it in real life how this works. Uh, and it's pretty damn cool, right? And I think most people here are busting their ass doing things. And it's probably annoying seeing things like this that are so simple, but I'm trying to connect the dots for you. And that's why on these webinars, I just try to cut the bullshit. I don't want you looking at other products and services and all this stuff out there. I want to get to this, the real guts of creating a basic business that you can then create the foundation. And once you have that foundation, bring in all these other softwares, these other tools, Bring, every, bring in everything else. But until then, let's create this initial foundation because it's not hard to set this up and your time is so much better spent on creating that foundation and bringing everything else in, putting on the blinders, don't letting anything else confuse you and just implementing this type of training. Put a number five in the box if you've, if you've had a bit of an aha moment throughout this webinar, right? Like, I think this is pretty damn amazing. I don't know about you, right? But again, I'll get to your questions in a little bit. Um, Spencer Mate raises a good question here. How much do I have to spend for getting all of these likes? Well, at the end of the day, the way it'll work is you can just start off with that initial budget. And because you're asking, this ad's created perfectly. They're asking people to tag someone who would like this. They, they put the call to action in the description link up the top. They've done the actual image here um, and they're actually responding to the people that are engaging with the ad. The cost of this ad would be extremely low. And as more people tag people, that ad goes viral. And I might speak about this on Thursday's webinar as well and show you examples that, um, that essentially make these ads go viral. So you can just start off with an ad, start the budget, but when it starts to have people tagging constantly, the reach gets shown more around and you get a much bigger reach for free. An example of this is I remember I used to create niche fan pages. I created a software called OctoSuite I would go find the most viral content on Facebook, right? So viral videos. Um, I remember I was creating a fishing page, selling uh, fishing products like lures and reels and stuff like that. But to get the engagement on my page, I'd post a video of a great white shark getting really close to a diver in the ocean or breaking into a cage or something really shocking. It didn't relate to the actual purchase, but I would spend a hundred bucks on an ad that would show that video with no call to action. And then what would happen is that person, um, that person that would see that ad uh, would tag someone or they'd like it 
or they'd watch it the whole way through. And then from, and because my brand name was connected to that viral video, thousands of other people um, would then see that ad when that person shared that piece of viral content, when that person commented on that viral content. So I might have paid for a 30,000, uh, 100 bucks for 30,000 people to see it or something, but the ad, that, that actual update still to this day gets views every single day for free because of that viral aspect to it. Facebook wants to show its users content that people like and engage with. It's pretty damn cool. So let me move on from here real quick as well. So um, clicking out of this one, here's an example of Instagram as well. Now we are populating the hell out of Instagram as uh, the actual Instagram module inside of Advert Suite here as well. Um, but we're all, and same as Google as well, we're just, uh, we're, we're running our ad, um, uh, advertise the, 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 essentially the back end of how we get the ads into here. We're running that hard now for Instagram and for Google as well. But um, here, for example, I want to show you. I've just typed in Shopify and I haven't seen search for a keyword. And I just want to find the ads that are doing well on Instagram. Instagram marketers um, are really ahead of the game because it's a lot cheaper to run an Instagram ad uh, than it is a lot of the time on Facebook because. Facebook will reward you for using their new types of advertising methods first, and they raise the prices in the future as it goes on. They want to essentially hook you in with a, with a small purchase, and then they raise it throughout um, the years or multiple years, right? So this is a great place to see what's all what's uh, working and selling to the millennial group, right? To uh, the essentially under thirties, you'll always find products here at Domino. Look at this watch here. Oh, where did we go? Look at this disgusting gold chain. Right. I don't know. I, I'm sorry if you don't think it's disgusting. I don't like that. Right. Here, yeah, here's a watch for eighty. Um, a watch ad um, with a discount code, a call to action, ten percent off. Boom. Very simple. Eighty-one thousand likes on that ad. That watch um, probably costs next to nothing. Same as this one here. Canvases, art canvases, carbon teeth whitening. This is a great place as well, and you'll often find ads here that work. Uh, on Facebook, but they, these advertisers aren't taking their ads over to Facebook because they know Instagram works amazing. So it's a great opportunity to jump across and see how this will work. And then you can run these ads even on YouTube as well, where almost no one's really advertising um, these type of products, right? So let me just quickly show you while we're here how to run an Instagram ad. When you create an ad in Ads Manager, in your Facebook Ads Manager, if you've never created an ad before, you just go to facebook.com slash business. Make sure to sign up for a business account. Not, don't just use your personal uh, account. Create a business account. Um, they're more lenient with approvals. And if you, if you write an ad that has a swear word in it by accident, or you upload a picture of yourself naked or something ridiculous by accident, hopefully that will never happen. But if that gets banned, your account's not going to get um, its advertisement account banned because they're much more lenient with a business account. Now, say I'm doing a video ad. I put a video of my dog drinking out of my little drink cup, right? I'm going to go ahead and click continue just to, for this argument's sake. This is where you go in and choose who do I want to target. So say I want to target Australia and New Zealand just for this individual ad, right? So say on that actual bottle, or say I've created a pillow with, with the Australian flag on it or Australian football team. Think about where you're from in the most trending sporting teams, right? You can play around with ideas for that. Um, I can choose who I want to target, 18 to 36. I can enter interest. So I want to target people that like dogs. You can put in dog breeds here, right? Um, Cocker Spaniel. So anyone has a Cocker Spaniel, I can target a T-shirt that has Cocker Spaniels on it. I can target phone cases to Cocker Spaniel owners, right? Pretty damn simple. There's 1.1 million people that like dogs and pocket spaniels between the ages of 18 and 36 that live in Australia and New Zealand. Pretty cool. But the, the point of this was just to show you how to run an actual um, an actual Instagram ad itself. So automatic placements ads is what is just going to place the ad absolutely everywhere on Facebook, on Instagram, in the sidebar, on the news feed, on partner sites. Um, this is often a way, uh, it's pretty sad, but like on sites like entrepreneur.com or bbc.com, there's a partner section there that displays ads. People, and it does my head in there, right, as seen on NBC or 
uh, as seen on entrepreneur.com. They're, they're saying that because they've technically been seen on it because they're advertising an ad that's on there. It's just ridiculous. So make sure to not, don't you not fool, uh, be, um, to not be fooled by these little uh, loops, right? So let's go ahead and click edit placements. So say I wanna run ads to people that are only on the mobile, right? So if I'm doing Instagram, I'm gonna take off the desktop because most users, I'd say 95% of users use Instagram on their mobile specifically. I wanna get, take off the Facebook newsfeed. I wanna take off the Facebook marketplace. I wanna take off Facebook video feeds. I wanna take uh, off in-stream um, articles. You'd uncheck all of this stuff, right? So now I'm left with Instagram stories and the Instagram newsfeed itself. Now, Instagram stories are a booming method uh, of very cheap ads where you can get a lot more views, a lot more call to actions. Now, if you've never seen Instagram ads, download Instagram, we'll do a webinar on that probably next week as well. But again, inside of Advert Suite, we can go ahead and click on Instagram. And we can actually search for ad types and click on stories. Now I wanna see the e-com ads that are running on Instagram stories. And I'm gonna search those ads. Look at this, do you have, do you have a Pluto hurry up and order this blanket? 436 um, reactions on that actual story update, right? Now these, no one's doing this. Well, these guys are doing it, right? But it's, not, it's a really brand new method. Is this only came out really re recently story ads. So you won't see too many ads here just yet, but it gives you a massive opportunity to do so. So let me go ahead and have a look at see if there's any WooCommerce ads that we've got in here. And again, we had 10,000 ads every single day to um, Advert Suite. And again, story ads are brand new. So um, we're ensuring that we're gonna be smashing these out a lot more, but I can also even just get rid of, uh, have no e-commerce platform and just search for all ads that are running on stories. And you'll find a lot of these are gonna be product purchases. Um, look at this dropshipping course here. The guys casuals and these guys are not using one of these shopping carts. They might be using their own website with a buy button. They might be sending it out manually, right? They might have bought all this stock from Alibaba or AliExpress and they're storing it at their home and they're just selling it on their website. So that's the, that's the really important thing when using adverts with to play around with different options because you'll find different methods and different ways to find ads in your niche. Um, and on the flip side, uh, like Adrian was saying, say he's dominated a dog um, campaign, then he goes into the cat campaign. But say I'm trying to get ideas for a dog pillow, for example, but I can't find any, search for a cat pillow, search for a bird pillow, search for birds, get different ideas, see what's being displayed on different products and bring it into something of your own, right? Um, it's really, really simple and really fun to use this. So I'm gonna move on quickly here and then I'll answer some questions with you guys. Um, here are the diffusers I was talking about. And yeah, this is the last thing I wanted to talk about quickly here with you guys is creating products around events. So I'll pull this up here really quickly for you guys. Event marketing. We're always trying to create products uh, for people that will have an emotional connection to, right? So when days come, it's, it's just like a dominating area of marketing. Um, and you'll, you'll see it in your own lives every, every single day when there's something coming up. I think it was Labor Day, Labor Day, Christmas, Easter, New Year's, birthdays, divorce parties, which is the thing apparently. Um, uh, we've also got uh, hen's nights, box parties, um, newborn baby um you can then go into things like christmas sporting events sporting events sporting events like the super bowl um could be like grand slams in tennis right um let me know some of your questions. Like, what are other major holidays or major events that people want to know about? Valentine's Day, All right? While you write some responses down there, let's just search for Valentine's Day. 
And that's the beauty of Advert Suite as well. It shows you ads in the past that have worked real, that are not just running right now. You can see these special ads. And I know marketers that purely do marketing for these actual events. And, and every year, once a date's up, they go on to the next one because there's hype around it. There's things happening for it, right? Keywords. Um, let's go back to Facebook for this one. Search your keywords, search ad text, Valentine's Day. All right. So you can see all the ads that have the word Valentine's Day in the text. Valentine's Day sales. People might not even have a Valentine's Day product. Let's say they're selling a swimwear, their own swimwear label, and they're just going to do a Valentine's Day sale. There's always opportunities to get increase your income and your cash flow of whatever it is you're doing. Let's now go have a look, have a look at Shopify. Look at this. Get your girlfriend a Valentine's Day nose cleaner for her birthday, right? No wonder they has only 21 likes. It's a ridiculous idea. But you know what? I'm sure there's a way to angle it. Look at this, it was a dog camera I saw somewhere here. Dog camera here, and they're doing a Valentine's Day special by the looks of it. So Valentine's Day sale for the dog camera to make sure you're always looking at your puppy. Um, Valentine's Day big sale, and these are all going to Shopify stores. Look at this. This has got to be the worst product I've ever purchased. I actually bought one of these for uh, my girlfriend, Alira here. She will tell you as well that it was meant to be a golden rose. I actually bought this. This is a great example to show you. I bought this silly thing thinking it was going to be beautiful, a golden rose. I was like, oh my God, she's going to be blown away with this golden rose. And, it came, and she, was, she was still very loving and happy about it, which I have to thank her for. But um, see, they've deleted it and I'm happy they deleted it because it's just a rubbish product. But it came in, it was this little tin foil thing that would have snapped if you had a like if I threw it in the air, it would have almost disintegrated. It was horrible, but I spent like 30 bucks on this thing um, <laughs> or 40 bucks or something. And it, was, and it wasn't obviously the main present I got her, but I just thought it was gonna be cool to buy on the side as a golden rose, but it was rubbish quality, right? Thought it was still there, it was like one of these. The box actually came banged up and mangled. Um, and then I asked for a refund and then there were the worst people to deal with refunds on this one here. Look at these fake testimonials, right? And I thought it looked cool, but it's not cool. So, but it did sell. And I got sucked into that Valentine's Day um, ad because I wanted to do everything I could to make her Valentine's Day amazing. Another emotional purchase, right? And um, that's a perfect live example of how that works. So let's see what other examples you guys have had here. Let's have another one, Halloween. All right. Um, cool. Here's some other examples people have got. Black Friday. Um, Cinco de, de Mayo, uh, maybe which is the Mexican Independence Day. Awesome. That's a good one. Breast Cancer Month. Awesome. So what a great way to market a product um, and maybe donate a dollar for every sale to breast cancer and have that in your ad. That's putting a bit of heart into your business. And that's why where I see a lot of companies going that it's not just good enough to have a great product anymore. If you look at companies like Adidas, for example, like I buy tennis uh, gear every year um, or maybe every two years or something. And I'm always looking at what the company is doing. My latest tennis gear it's all made out of recycled sea waste and, and it's from Adidas and it's what all the Grand Slam players are using. And I, and I purchased from Adidas over Nike in that case. I know I'm wearing this Nike shirt here, but this is probably 10 years old. Um, but I purchased it with Adidas because I thought that was a really nice uh, heart to that business. And you'll start to see businesses more and more wanting to actually put a bit more of a personality and a loving outcome that you know when you buy from them that there's going to be a bit more of a family and a bit more of a good result of where the money goes. Now, that doesn't really matter too much with these low ticket, um, I guess, tripwire purchases, these icebreaker purchases, right? But when you start to sell higher product um, items to once you've got them through that tripwire, 
that's a, you can start to play on that type of thing there as well, right? And and it's it's doing a good cause for other as well. Cleve says Black Panther month. Oh. <laughs> Trevor says you have a texting lip cancer. Sorry, <laughs> no, that's actually a really good call, Trevor. Um, <laughs> I'd high five you if I saw you. Oh, we have got a good one here. It is Alira's birthday. Good work, baby. That's it's, and that's coming up as well, right? And I'll show you guys how to do a good birthday present when it um, for your partner when you see what I'm doing for her this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, let's see what else we got on here. Um, Damien says she is your, she she is your girlfriend. She will say she loves the rose, but wait until you're married. Um, I'm, I I wouldn't blame her if she didn't like this rose. It was it was absolutely horrible. But yes, maybe the truth might come out then. <laughs> um, so yeah, moving on from here, how do we find top selling print on demand products, right? Like Teespring shirts and whatnot. So what you would do, you would go in to um, add that sweet, come in t-shirt, all right? And you can go ahead and start to see what t-shirts are performing the best. You can filter these from the most likes. You start playing around there, but again, there's so many more opportunities than just looking for the t-shirt that's already done. Look for the pillowcase that's already done, that's killing it, and take that design, put it on a t-shirt, right? Put it on a coffee mug. Like, let me show you this. I want to show you this uh, mug real quick. One second. All right. So I I get asked to promote a lot of products all the time, right? And I don't normally share that many um, products with you guys. Um, like I said, there's only two products in the whole year this year I've shared on the webinar with someone. And if I if I share something, it's going to be uh, of big value and, and this kind of made a really big effort for me to promote his product right and he actually made me a coffee mug with the actual brand of his launch and then he actually got this lot mug done with met with my face on it before i had a beard um <laughs> and this was really highly converting to me that i felt like i wanted to um promote his product. I was like, that's a really good effort. You know what? You must be a good marketer. You must have good stuff. But I didn't end up playing that product. JVZ, for example, got me this bobblehead of me, which doesn't really look like me. And this is another example. I actually got bobblehead. That made me excited. And I and I actually then went and made a bobblehead of my partner and I, which actually turned out to be horrible. I looked like a scary, scary, scary man, right? But th th these are different um, products that have an emotional purchase to it. So remember, when you're looking at things like shirts, think about that, how that would look on a pillow, on a bedspread. Look for the ads that work around those areas. There. Look at this. Here's a Christmas um, T-shirt here that's obviously from an from a actual cycle of 80s tees. I reckon I would love this page. I love 80s and 90s um, stuff, right? And type in actual niches that you're interested in. It's so much easier to sell products if you're kind of interested in that actual area, right? Uh, and you can get more creative and think about what you'd like, like life. I actually bought a t-shirt the other, other day from, again, for Alira. Like it was a Michael Jackson shirt. It was a, and, and that's a big, let me write that over here as well. Um, another big want and need. Um, I'm just gonna bold this one here. <laughs> another one I like is um, music. Um, niche, right? People are obsessed with um, artists, right? So Michael Jackson, I love Michael Jackson. Uh, it, and I love Blink-182, right? And you can target in Ads Manager here, I say I created a t-shirt, I could go up here and type in people who are interested in Blink-182. Now I'm targeting half a million people that like Blink-182 that are in the ages between 18 and 36 that are men and women um, just on Instagram, in the Instagram newsfeed and in the Instagram stories, right? That is just ridiculous. Now what I want you guys to do through this, on Thursday's webinar, I want you to watch that as well and then I want you to implement. Again, the whole point of these trainings is not just to teach you, it's to get you to implement this, 
right? And that's why we're moving so fast from one area to the other to the other because I've only got a small amount of time with you guys before you get distracted with something else, before you buy the next product from someone else that wants to coach you on their method or whatever it might be. I want you guys to stick to this and not just learn, but implement. It's such a big difference. You guys all have the ability to do this. There's no reason you don't. If you, do, if you say you don't, it's just simply because you're making excuses and prioritizing other things. You guys can do this and it's not hard. And once you've got it set up the first time, your ads run on autopilot. Your business runs on autopilot. Take a weekend to do it. Don't, if you can't do it during the week, take it on the weekend. Just make sure you do do this in there, right? Give me a number five in the box if you like, if you agree with me, you're gonna be on Thursday's webinar. You wanna learn how to do this and you wanna implement this for number six in the box. If you're like, shut up, Luke. I just wanna learn and not implement. And if there's any six, and if there's any sixes, I'm gonna get a grumpy at you. Oh, we've got a six. Jabby, that is just upsetting. Jabby Usman, that is just upset. And Alira put a number one because she's my number one girl. That's right. You know what, baby, you can do whatever you want. Um, so in saying that, guys, let's. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know now because I don't want to overwhelm you too much. I'm going to get this replay out later today for you guys. Almost been two hours and you all have been absolutely amazing. Thursday's webinar, let me just get the time up for that for you. Let me go go to webinar. I just want to make sure I say the right time because I have a good um, have a good way of just not telling not of telling you guys the wrong times every now and then. Not you guys, but in the past. I'm just horrible with converting times. And then I'll answer some questions quickly. Then we'll wrap it up and I'll go have some breakfast. Um, 8 p.m. So same time on Thursday, right? 8 p.m. on Thursday. Again, we're going to be diving more into the actual business again there as well. Um, tying it into Advert Suite, but getting you guys set up with the actual store, right? I know you guys were asking before, how does um, Adrian get these designs? How does he get people to make them for free? Um, there's so many different sites like Fiverr or Upwork and stuff like that. Excuse me, I know how he actually goes out in the Facebook groups that have, have artists and gets them to do it, right? Um, Questions here. What about the beauty niche? Beauty, amazing, right? Let's do a quick, quick search for beauty niche. Keywords, I'm gonna clear all. And search keyword, when they search for the ad text, I'm just gonna type in beauty, right? Let's go Shopify. Beauty tablets, beauty pens, beauty ridiculously giant selfie stick if you're into that type of thing um look at this thing that's ridiculous but it's got a lot of engagement right then you filter these from the most likes that ridiculous chains that's not beautiful in my opinion at all all right so i want to then see ads that are just targeted to women Beauty rings, mood rings, hair vitamins. The more you scroll down, the more will load. Painting, makeup. Don't know what that is, but you can, you can convert that and see what that one is. Foundation, right? Pen, foundation, makeup pens. Lots of different things you can do here. Imagine if you type in something like, I don't know, nails. is a bunch of nail ads that are running, right? Stop wasting your time for your nails to grow. And if any of you guys buy your nails, don't bite your nails, because it's naughty. <laughs> um, see, they're kind of cool, acrylic powder, right? Don't really know what the hell that is, but it's cool. Look at that, this is a pretty cool way to create nail powder. So there's so many different options you can do just to find products that work, get ideas, uh, and then you, could, then you simply just go over to a site like AliExpress and type in nail art or something, right? All these little stencil stickers. Thousands of them, through different types. 
It's ridiculous. There's opportunities for days and days and days. Um, quickly, okay, let me go. Let me go through some more questions here quickly. Here, um, William, awesome. Great to have you back in again. Um, Jeffrey says we'd love some training about aging, about running and testing ads on a five dollar budget. We'll do that Thursday. I'll make sure that's in there. Um, are video ads cheaper than picture ads? What converts better, video ads and, and image ads? Can, it depends on the product you are selling. If I'm trying to sell a thousand dollar product or a couple of hundred dollar product, a video ad is much better to pre-qualify that lead because you can sell to them in the newsfeed itself. Then they're already sold. Then they'll come to your website and they're ready to buy. An image ad for an expensive product, it might not be as easy to tell that story and build that emotional purchase, right? Even if I was selling a dog outfit for a hundred bucks, it cost me three bucks. A video of dogs running around in crazy costumes is going to look a lot more, it's going to pull on my heartstrings a lot more than an image of a dog in a costume. I'll still laugh and be like, that's so damn cute. But a video is going to be a, a lot more engaging, right? Uh, and you can often ask the vendors for the actual videos. You can, you can YouTube dog costumes or, or dogs in costumes, right? And then you can just cut, like cut that apart, have someone on Fiverr do it, edit, edit it for you, fiverr.com, get someone to go ahead. Let me just show you what I mean. If I typed in YouTube, because again, I like to show real examples, uh, I'm talking dog costumes, right? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Imagine taking this video ad and taking a bunch of these and I say, hey, you know what? I want a 15 second video ad. Uh, I'll go to fiverr.com. I'll type in edit video. I'll then search for ads up to say 10 bucks. All right. This guy will professionally edit my video into in for seven bucks, right? Pretty ridiculous. You then get your Facebook video ad from content on YouTube that's general fun content saying, come, um, you want a cutest dog costume? Come to our dog costume store, click here, right? You then start banking really, really quickly. So that's a really uh, simple way to do that there as well. Um, William, I'll check out um, what uh, you mean by that. Larry says, I've already been implementing the app to create ads. Now it's time to learn. Form that is what you want. Um, just looking for some more, some more, some more, some more. Can we use the same product or is the product saturated? Guys, this is a big question. This is, this is something that a lot of people are afraid of as well is, is the market too saturated? Is there, is there too much competition? Is there, everyone else around me is better at doing it. There's better people out there already doing it, why should I do it? That's not the case at all. The reason we're behind this is, and I'll, I'll just want to write down this diagram again real quick. Now, there's people that want to buy now. There's people who want to buy in three to six months, right? So say these people, I'm gonna do it some like lines, hold on. Um, so these are all the people that want to buy now. There's way more people that want to buy in three to six months, right? And at the end of the day, and then, then it, it, this is the person here, person who has the best product ever, best at doing hair, nails, um, dog costumes, whatever it might be, right? The beauty of Facebook ads is if you create an advertisement that is more engaging and better than the competition and you're targeting different people and different places, you're gonna get that sale. And if you're constantly doing it for three to six month period, focusing on people that don't wanna just buy now but in three to six months, you're gonna be at the top of the mind. We often get into our heads that, because we know, like for me, I know, uh, like I know every tennis brand out there, right? But, and say, say I owned Wilson Tennis, for example. I'd be, um, what if I was worried about my competition? Well, 
if every, everyone else wouldn't know about tennis brands like Babalat, um, like Pro Connect, there's, there's, there's lots of different brands out there. Oh shit, I've got, I've got, I got too excited here. One second, I have to have tennis in. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> Um, I, sorry guys, I, I get so excited, I'm at that tennis right now, but that's all right. Um, what I'm saying is when the markets, if you think it's saturated, it's really not. That's just you over, overthinking that your product isn't as good enough or it can't be good enough. Again, the best products in the world often don't even see the light of day because they're not sold correctly. You see half of these rubbish things that are like, little nail clipper remove nail clip removal things right uh, for the dog nails I'm sure there's way better ones out there but they're not making the money it's about you positioning yourself right in your in the market and that's what I want to talk about on Thursday as well so since I've got to be in tennis in two minutes in about from a place about 15 minutes away I'm gonna finish this webinar up here but I will stay with you guys on Thursday a lot longer remember Thursday's webinar it's the same link 8 p.m. Eastern um, I really, really appreciate you guys being here today. Um, and if you do have questions, what, this is what you should do. If you have questions still, Instagram, uh, message me on Instagram, instagram.com forward slash Luke McGuire. I'll give you the link down here. And um, we can go and um, yeah, message me on there now because I'm really sorry that um, I, have to, I have to leave right now. I've just got my tennis coach waiting for me on the tennis court. I love you guys. You guys have been awesome. I appreciate your positivity. I hope this was enjoyable for you. Uh, me and Adrian will be, will be back here again on Thursday. Until then, go out, start researching. I'm going to quiz you guys on Thursday. I want to know some niche products you've found. I won't share them with everyone else, but do that research. I'm going to hold you accountable. I'm going to be very upset if you haven't found a few cool products that you want to kind of look at selling, uh, and we're going to move from there. So again, thank you all. I appreciate you. And I hope you have a great day and I will speak to you uh, on Thursday uh, on that webinar, 8 p.m. Eastern. Let's get it. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, and I'll send the replay out in a couple of hours. Thanks, guys. Bye.